my name is Bethany. I'm the Director of Patient Education and Community Outreach for the Franco Cardiovascular Center, and I'm here today to talk to you about sugar. Now, it's hardly a surprise to hear sugar is bad for us. Many people know sugar adds empty calories, but shockingly, sugar has many other negative effects on our body. It can create mood swings. It can create problems with our skin. It actually creates issues with the collagen and elasticin, so we see some sagging and also maybe some acne from the extra sugar. It is important to understand when I'm talking about sugars, I'm talking about added sugars. Naturally occurring sugars are what we find in our fruits and vegetables and our milk products. And then added sugars are actually things that are put in the processing and the manufacturing of food to make them taste yummy or to help preserve them. Now we also play a little role in that when we add a little bit of brown sugar to our oatmeal, maybe some sugar to our coffee or tea. In the United States, we are eating approximately 20 teaspoons of added sugar each day. And what that looks like sort of in a real life version is about a fourth a cup of a sugar a day, um, which is represented in this bottle. For women, we are, are allowed six teaspoons of added sugar a day, which is about 25 grams. And for men, you're actually allowed nine teaspoons of added sugar, so you get a little bit more. One thing I really wanna focus on today are sugary drinks. Sugary drinks are the number one source of added sugar in the United States. And when you have a, a product, but most especially um, when we're looking at our drinks, it's important to take a look at our food labels. And the Food and Drug Administration has now added um, a line for total sugars and for added sugars. And so in this example, this product has 12 grams of regular sugar and 10 grams of added sugar. So you can see 10 grams out of the 12 are added in by the a manufacturer. A tip beyond our nutrition labels I have for you to sort of sip smarter in your day is water. Try to drink more water in your day. I find regular water just a little boring, so I like to add flavor, um, a splash of fruit juice, maybe some lemon and lime or orange. For those of you that are coffee drinkers that do like to add sugar, I'm, I'm here to tell you that you could probably just try to decrease the amount of sugar that you're adding each day until you get to a place that you're not adding any sugar at all. Sparkling waters are the hit this day and LaCroix is one that I really enjoy and so maybe you could give that a try. My takeaways for you today are to really focus and concentrate on your nutrition labels and then also to be thinking about what are those um, Sip Smarter tips that you can try.